Okay, how about this question? Four couples wish to stand in a row for a group photo. How many arrangements of the eight people are possible if each person must stand next to his or her partner? Some people might think of the question this way. Think of four couples. Each couple is holding hands, so we can think of them as one unit. So we can decide how, in how many ways we can order the four units. And then each couple will have to decide who's going to stand on the left. All right, so try to think about the problem that way, and let's see if you can get the answer. So I can think of couples, couple one, couple two, couple three, and couple four. Now, how many ways can I arrange these couples? This is a permutation of four couples. So how many ways can I arrange these couples? So there are four factorial, four times three times two times one, which is one times two times three, that's six times four, 24. So there are 24 permutations of the couples, but we're not finished. Each couple is going to have to make a decision. Who's going to stand on the right? So there are 24 ways to arrange the couples, but then each couple will need to decide who's going to stand on the right, the man or the woman. So each couple has two ways to make that decision. And so I get 24 multiplied by 16. Now, how to multiply this? Well, we, could, we can multiply the old-fashioned way, or you might, just to, to remind you here, I can write this as 20 times 4 times 20 minus 4, which is 20 squared minus 4 squared, 400 minus 16, 384. Here's another way. That's great. I'll prove that that's exactly it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are eight people here. All right? And let's start with the person on, on the left. Just imagine that you're holding the camera. Now, how many people can stand in the left position? Well, anybody could. Man or woman from any couple. So there are eight ways we can decide who will stand on, the, on the, the left end of the row. Right now, his couple or her couple, whoever it is, will have to stand right next. So there's no choice there. In other words, choosing the person here dictates the choice of the person here. Now there are six people left. And this person could be any of those six. But once we choose this person, his couple or her couple, whoever it is, will have to stand next to them. And then there are four people left. And his couple or her couple, whoever it is, will have to stand there. And then there are two people left. So we get eight times six times four times two. And hopefully this should be the same. 
let's see. So I've got 2 times 8. That's 8 times 8 is 64. Good. Times 6 gives me the same. Thank God. 384. All right. How many of you prefer this way? Melik prefers this way. Papu prefers the other. But it's good to try to understand both ways. All right? There's no better way. There's only a logical way or an illogical way, or one that takes more time or less. And both of these are excellent. And you need to understand both. 